Well, remember how we used to always say like Ultra Instinct is it, it, the way they booked it is like they are treating this form like it is the be all end all. Like, and that's at least what it, it should be because it's like you're right. You know what I'm saying? We 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 did say that, but at the same time, even even during the times when we were saying that, we still knew better. We still knew that there were levels to this shit because mm -hmm. we said that like we we angels exist in Ultra Instinct, and guess what? Mine's not as good as my dad's. There's levels to it, right? Yep, yeah, we did say that. Levels. And they even introduced that. They even warned us that there'd be levels to it by not giving him the white hair immediately and calling it Omen. Right. Yep. Even in that form, they they fucking made it a big deal, dude. All the right. gods stood up for him. That's like pre Ultra Instinct. Right. That, that's not. Yeah. That's not the whole thing. Yeah. The whole package. Yeah. That's the Kyo no Ken. Oh. Oh my God. Bro, 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 Jeff, bro, bro, bro. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. He They're gonna something. treat this shit. They're gonna treat this shit like the fucking eight gates. Ah, oh, oh, no. nah, nah, nah. They're not gonna do that. <laughs> They're gonna treat this shit like the eight gates. They're not gonna treat this shit like the eight gates. Do you know what the eight gates are, Kai? Not enough. Okay. To put it simply, broccoli. <laughs> The, like, like, God, sensei, the put it to put it quickly the eight gates was a, a technique in naruto that we only ever saw mike guy and rock lee use and the whole thing behind it right is that this was levels of power that ga it granted the user like od everything like all your stats was up your speed, speed your strength power. everything and there's eight levels, right? When we when we learned of how far it went, and if you hit eight, we learned what that shit does. If you do eight, you're you're dead afterwards. Like your body just die. You you die. Okay. But the power you get from it, man. It is. It, they compare it to the powers of the Hokages and shit. Straight up, like the the strongest people. That is what the eight gate gives you, essentially, right? I would say so it's beyond. We, we yo, we crazy. did not see that. Okay, we heard about it, but we always knew we're like, yo, one day somebody's using this shit. Whether it's Guy Sensei <laughs> or Rock Lee. Okay? And yo, even when Rock Lee he opened the fourth one. Come on, Kai! Okay, when he opened that <laughs> shit, bruh. It was OD. Just off four. Four was crazy. But fast forward to Shippuden, when it was at the fucking war, son, and Guy Sensei, bro, nah, I'm not, that's all I'm gonna say. Guy Sensei opened up that shit, bruh, it was like, oh my god, it's happening. So, I'm already gonna say, because fucking, you're crazy for even fucking bringing that shit up, bro, <laughs> because Ultra Instinct is not gonna be that. If they ever decide, if they ever make some, I will call that an ass pull right off rip if they ever decide to have the fucking dragon balls to even be like oh well since goku's not like inherently a deity he's not an angel he's not a god right he's not a higher being like if he ever does attain the highest level ultra instinct then he's just gonna die I would the call eight levels. Bullshit. The, I would the nah. eight levels no no the eight levels absolutely seven if it's dragon ball dude I mean, we've already, we've already said there's levels to this shit. So gate one is is pre ultra, you know, and then there's no gate way. Two or, gate two at least is what the white hair. No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then after that, after that, man, I don't know. They could do something. They could do it. Absolutely, I'm not gonna accept that shit because, listen, that will piss me off. I mean, we've seen this. We've seen Goku die enough times already. So it's like at this point, it's whatever, you know. But I feel like if they were to do that, they would try to pull some shit like that's how they write him off completely. And I don't know if they're going to do that because imagine, yo, imagine, I'm just imagine this, right? Just, just imagine, right? There, there's levels, right? Let's say there's levels. I mean, we already know there's levels, but let's say the highest level there is, right? Let's say the consequences to write this man off right you're not allowed to wish man's back right <laughs> that's all they got exactly do, right? <laughs> exactly that's all they, you can't wish him back after he uses this power that like, would truly be bullshit though 
That would be crazy. That would be truly bullshit because it's just like, wow, you're really going to ass pull your ass pulls? Like, how are you going to do that? Like, it's like... Dragon Ball logic. Welcome. I know, but dude, that... See, and this is where I'm just like, nah, that's too much. Dude. I honestly wouldn't want that happening. Just because it's no. funny as Goku. See, that yeah. would be the first time I would ever cry over something in Dragon Ball, to be honest. That'd be I would be ruined. Ruined. Naruto has made me cry. Spider-Man has made me cry. Avengers... Dragon Ball has never made me cry. I've gotten hype. I've screamed. I've yelled. I've been upset, pissed. I've uh, I've endured all the emotions, besides that kind of sadness. Because Bro, there's no there's no emotional like because there's a complete death. There's no right there's, right. There's none of that shit done. exists in this shit. They're done. Like yo, people people that die in Naruto, they're dead. Next. That's it. Yo. Oh Shout my out to fucking God. Oh, see what I mean? You see what I mean? People that Fuck. are gone are gone, bro. Fuck. We don't have to ever worry about that shit in Dragon Ball, man. Because it's just like, oh, that's a, that sucks. But that's okay. They could wish them back. That's literally oh, how they've damn, conditioned you're us. Dead. All right, bro. See you this weekend. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, wait, what, what are you doing on Saturday? Oh, I'm probably, I might die, but, you know, just wish me back. We'll go to the movies tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? All right, bet I'll start getting the Dragon Balls ahead of time. I'll catch you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nah, see, nah, nah, nah. Like, that's, mmm. See, that'll that'll change shit, bro. I would be so surprised if at that point, because that's how you know that the higher ups at Toei, Toriyama, Toyotaro, they would all have to be in agreement that okay, it's finally time to now pass on this mantle to somebody else but we've already discussed that based on that's not gonna happen dude i know based on every everything that we've talked about and we've talked about this specifically before where they don't have full faith in other characters like that they're they've put all their eggs in the goku and vegeta basket and hey they have broly now right broly's a part of that basket Okay, yes, they could be building up Piccolo and Gohan for all these smaller things and situations, but if the story's gonna continue, and I'm sure they're gonna have Oob eventually pan too, right? The story's gonna continue, right? Unless, you know, Goku and them, obviously they die of old age, but Saiyans, the way they wrote them, is just like they just fucking live forever and ever and ever. You know what I'm saying? Like they age differently than regular ass humans. It's like, when would they ever actually go? And, I, like, that's, that would, see, that would be the first biggest step in a direction that we have, like, we've been talking about Goku's taking a backseat for so long. Vegeta taking a backseat for so long. If they go about it in that way, where it's like, if Goku reaches this level of Ultra Instinct, his body, since it's not, you know, it's, 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 you know, a, it's mortal based. It just, like, if he does it, he will have the most strongest power in all of existence that he will just fade away after that on some Gates shit like you mentioned. And if that happens, and they and they, and then they decide to pull some shit like, oh, but even the Super Dragon Balls wouldn't be enough to bring him back. Whack. That would be crazy. Be I, would, crazy. I would be so, I would be so upset because I'm like, wow, this is the first time they have real death. And it's Goku. Real, real. Od, death. Od, that's crazy. Like we're talking, we want him. We want to see him as a coach, a mentor, a teacher. Don't get involved. Let them fucking do it, right? They're gonna kill him for reals. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> They're gonna kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -mm. That's. That, I did not think this conversation was gonna go that way, but wow, that would that's be. A that would be the first time that I would at legitimately cry tears for something that happened in Dragon Ball because I can dude yeah, I don't really remember like actually being that emotional and like drag when it comes to Dragon Ball just because you you subconsciously know they can wish man's back or anybody back really technically with Dragon Balls and shit right the only yeah. the only raw emotion we've ever felt is hype Mm. anytime yeah. something happens where so, most more than likely it's when someone gets up new new fucking transformation i always will reference this i'm pretty sure this was episode 65 or 66 of super 
when our boy Trunks went went rage, we thought he was gonna go Super Saiyan three, right? You and I was both screaming. Yeah, literally, we were screaming. We we're sitting in the theater, and Goku, shit, Ultra Instinct. <laughs> yo, I couldn't feel my arm. This guy was he, Brent. Yo, he oh fucking ah! straight up, straight up. Like, ah! like I felt like I was like in the air for two yeah. seconds. We we were freaking out. Raw hype. Sadness has never been a thing in Dragon Ball like that. Nah, that that would be that would be OD. I don't know. I'm not ready for that shit. I'm not ready for that shit. <sighs> wow. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>